we're approaching September here. And I wanted to get y'all a garden update uh, before there is no longer a garden here. You saw in one of the videos I did early on uh, when we did the uh, tomato staking, I never got back out here and finished that job. So our tomatoes just took on a yeah, personality of their own and became a jungle. But here we go. It's a productive jungle. Look at how big these potatoes are. So Maz has got some potatoes. The kids are digging the red potatoes. Look at potatoes. how big they yeah. are. Mom, look. Woohoo! I love it. These are, we're in the Roma section. So you all remember, you have to go back and watch that video. Uh, how small these were. This, this is not, these are not weeds. This is all tomato plant right here. Yep. Remember, this is what we did. We staked these, uh, these purple ones up. Look how beautiful those are. You actually didn't stake them. You started. No, I, I, I attempted to stake these up. And then I think they just got so heavy that it just never them. happened. Like, they did not, they did not come out nice here and continue you. to... Be nice to the kitty. Be nice. Y'all, I want to tell you. We, Bernadette planted these marigolds. And we don't know if that is the reason why. But we have not, this is the first time ever. Yep. We have not had one single hornworm in our garden this year. So we got the tomatoes here. These are cherry tomatoes here. You can see a variety called Bunch of Grapes. Bunch of Grapes. Beautiful, bud. We have a watermelon vine right here. We have a rosy posy pudding and pie, also known as poo pie. <laughs> She's so excited. Another watermelon growing right there. We have a cabbage. Rose is about to step on the kitty. Bubba's got a giant green pepper. Yep, that's what he likes to do with them too. We got our cabbage that's getting so heavy it's about to roll itself out of the ground. This is a cabbage we picked. Check that out. More came up in its place. Like four or five little cabbages sprung up. I don't know what's gonna happen. We just left it there to see what's gonna happen. We got another watermelon right there. More cabbage, more watermelon. This is a different variety of watermelon. Isn't that beautiful? We got our uh, pickling cucumbers, which are about to die out on us. Yeah. Bernadette said we got three gallons of pickles put up, so that is fine. This right here is uh, eggplant. We got some kale right there. Eggplant, green peppers. You can kind of see there's there's lots of green peppers in there. Y'all remember I did a video on these peppers. I talked about how I just appreciated that they didn't die, um, but they weren't fruiting at all. This here is kale and broccoli. More green pepper plant. Y'all remember, I said, they were they were starting to flower, so we would have green peppers this year. But they just, for the longest time, they didn't do anything. And this here, jalapeno. Bernadette made some jalapeno popper dip yesterday out of our jalapenos, and it was amazing. I mean, delicious. We had the last of it today. This here is uh, another variety of eggplant. And these did not flower all year, and I fear... Did y'all even know that eggplant flowers were so pretty? I didn't. But I fear that they're not going to be able to put on, even though they're flowering, uh, anything before it gets too cold for them to, to put anything on. But we'll see. If nothing else, those flowers are really pretty. And then Bernadette put uh, onions all the way around the outside of the garden. And then y'all, again, this whole row 
is nothing but a bunch of different varieties of tomatoes. And I don't know if you, I mean, you can see those tomatoes are rocking. Hey, Hootie Doody, show me. What variety are these, Petey? What is it? The ones with the green streaks through them? What are they? Hold on, black? No, wrong one. I, I can't Look at that. Rest in, I don't remember. We'll look it up inside. That is a ripe tomato. It is red with green streaks through it, almost like a watermelon. They're not very big. I don't know if you can tell. I mean, that's in the palm of my hand. But they are just so pretty and so delicious. We're we're picking them tonight. <laughs> Yeti's putting them all in my hand. <laughs> We're picking them tonight because we are having uh, um, tomato soup with our own tomatoes. This is our lettuce, uh, our salad bed. We had all different kinds of salad greens growing in here, and I mean, obviously, they all bolted over the summer. Um, and we let them do that. We're going to try to gather the seeds uh, for next year. We also have, you know, that's all carrot, and we're just letting those grow. Probably not going to be a huge carrot crop, but that's fine. It's from 2012. 2012 Baker Creek. No, that was Mike the Gardener. Oh, 2012 Mike the Gardener seed. I, I, uh, when I was deployed, uh, one of the things I got Bernadette as a gift was a subscription to Mike the Gardener, and Mike the Gardener would send a seed packet a month, I think. Four seed packets. Four seed packets a month for a period of time. We also have the bush beans that we thought uh, were pole beans, like climbing beans, vining beans. And that was the whole point in putting the trellis here, but Bernadette accidentally grabbed the wrong kind. No big deal. We have gotten uh, quite a few uh, messes. That's what we call it in my family. Messes of green beans. And Bub found the toad. <laughs> and we have gallons of green beans in the freezer, Brandon that said. I mean, they're ready to pick again. Look at that. And they are delicious. Absolutely delicious. Maddie's turning. Turning and burning. Can y'all see them? Oh, we shine purple. Let me uh, zoom in. Look at all those taters. We're so excited. This is the first time we've kind of been somewhere long enough in the past little bit to have a harvest like this, so we are super excited. Okay, more kale over here. Y'all, we got all kinds of uh, spaghetti squash this year. Like, we got spaghetti squash coming out of our ears. So if y'all want to come hang out with us for a while, we'll probably have spaghetti squash. Sweet potatoes all down this row. It's supposed to be uh, sunflowers, but they, they never sprouted. I accidentally speared it. More kale. The the Japanese beetles like came in through and like decimated this kale, and then it just came back, and it's beautiful That's right now. Job, There's three varieties. Yeah, three oh. varieties. You got that curly, curly variety, purple, purple, and then behind you you have dinosaur. But yep, I, just I already showed them. that the dinosaur kale over there. sprouts. You can kind of see in there. They're growing. They also are kind of a survival story because the Japanese beetles just yeah, ate the them Yeah, the Japanese beetles also decimated these. So yep, all that's Brussels sprouts. We have more bush beans over here that were supposed to be vining beans. Uh, we kind of tried to do a three sisters thing here with the corn. Our corn wasn't super successful but you can see. We have some ears. There's a couple ears right there. Let's see. So, yeah, we're excited about it. And then over here, we have uh, these are eaten cucumbers, like slicing cucumbers. We've uh, Again, they're about to go out, but we got several cucumbers out of there and had veggie trays for a, a, quite a quite a few days. 
This broccoli has just been rocking all year. Once it started sprouting, you know, we'd cut it off and then you get these little florets come back in. You just come back out here and you cut it off and more just keep coming. I've been really, really excited about this broccoli this year. And then we have another bed of potatoes and this whole area right here was uh, spaghetti squash, uh, but it died off and we harvested all the spaghetti squash. Uh, it's in the house. And then lastly, we've had a couple volunteer things happen that have been kind of neat. We had a white pumpkin grow right there. We can't, we let the horses in here and the horses kind of trampled it, but uh, we were able to get a few of the pumpkins before that happened. So that was kind of cool. We got some pumpkins out of the deal. We have uh, another couple volunteer squash, different kinds of squash uh, up towards the deck. And then out front, we have some more volunteer squash. Uh, but yeah, that's been the garden. Uh, again, super, super excited about it. Super, super proud of it this year. Super proud of us for getting out here and getting this uh, put together. What we did here, was a couple different uh, methods in that back corner where the potatoes are and the corn and stuff and the Brussels sprouts. That was a dug garden bed. Uh, if you follow us on Facebook, Whole Living Farms, uh, we posted a few pictures back when we dug that. Bub did a lot of the work. Uh, proud of him for that. Um, and then uh, we also did a no dig uh, experiment. And that's pretty much every other bed. We went down to, uh, I said in my video about resources, um, took the dump trailer and the tractor down to the local park where they uh, dump all the brush that they chip up from people's yards, um, picked up a whole load. So uh, we put boxes down uh, that I got from Tractor Supply, also in that video, um, and then uh, put the, the chips down in the places where we'd be walking to as you know even more of a weed barrier plus to kind of keep the ground nice and soft uh, so the earthworms can uh, have some space um, and then between our our horses manure from over winter and the chicken manure from over the winter and the goat manure from over the winter and our neighbor's cow manure uh, that's what all this was a combination of and it was slow because it wasn't quite ready uh, to grow, but then as the year has worn on, it has just allowed our garden to thrive, and it's going to be even better next year, and I'm super excited about it. Uh, we kind of have a a, me uh, a method now. You can kind of see right there, and in one of the videos I was standing in front of that, so that's a manure pile, and then we started another one in the bottom corner. That's a manure pile. And so we're going to let that one age and we'll use it uh, this fall. Uh, put another coat down and then it'll age even more over the winter and we'll put it down again. <laughs> Millie is uh, climbing me. Hi Millie. I think she likes being in the videos. I really do. Because she's always jumping up on me in these videos. She's pretty photogenic though, so that's nice. All right, so I think that wraps up the garden uh, update. All right, y'all. I was just talking about the carrots. These are like the first carrots we've ever picked. And look at these, look at these carrots that Matt Ma Ma got. That's pretty exciting. I got a hobby. That's my I love. I got a short stubby one. That's good, guys. Those are great. We got our carrots. Hey, guys, hold them up. Oh. Everyone pick up your carrot and show Dad. Hey. Oh, Yeti's pulling another one that's not ready because it won't come. Yeti, don't don't pull it. If it's not ready, baby, don't, don't make it. Oh, my. oh, she's going to get it no matter Show what. yours, Daddy. <laughs> it's purple, purple stubby. <laughs> our carrots. Can I eat one? This part was... Showing yep, right good deal. It's nice and wide, for sure. Why is Yeti struggling so badly with that one? No 
idea. Did it grow into the wood? <laughs> Oh, sorry. oh my goodness. Oh, this that's is a why good she was one. Struggling. It's a Yeti, you're a good carrot picker. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her face. Where's my other one? Show me your carrot. Bobby's holding it. Show Dad your carrot, bug. Well, how these with one? Scaled dirt. Coming out of her Old nose between her eyes. <laughs> I love it.